before going to install Kali Linux, we have to download two files, VirtualBox and Image file. First thing we have to do is connect your external hard drive. As you can see here, I have already connected. And now we will download VirtualBox. I will provide you a link in the description. Now click on Downloads. As we are downloading VirtualBox for Mac, we have to click on OS X host. As you can see, download had started. The file has been downloaded, now we will install. Now click on the file. Installer has popped up. Click on virtualbox.package. Continue. Continue. Install. I'll go back as I have already installed. After successful installation of VirtualBox, I'll show you the application. We will remove these files as there is no use. So to install Kali Linux, we have to download image file and we will download directly from the official website. And I will also provide you link in the description where you can directly go to the page. Here in the left side in image names we have to click on Kali Linux 64 bit installer. Please check and download the latest version. My image file also downloaded in my desktop. Keep aside for some time. Now I will open the virtual box. Before getting started, I will open my external hard drive and I will create a new folder. Now I will create a name. It is done because just for the identification of the folder. Now we will go back to the virtual box. Click on new. Here in the machine folder, we have to change the location so click on others. Here my external hard disk is Mac. Now I will select the folder which I have already created. Here in the name you can create as your wish. I am creating it as Kali. In the type you have to select as Linux. Now in the version you have to select Debian 64 bit. Now click on continue. Here in the memory size, I am allocating 4GB of the RAM or else you can allocate as your wish but the memory size should be more than 3GB. So once the RAM was set, click on continue. Here in the hard disk, keep it as default and click it on continue to go to the next page. Here also leave it as default in the hard disk file type and move to the next page. Here we should always select dynamically allocated which was set as default and now move to the next page. In the file size make sure that it should be allocated more than 20 GB. Now I am allocating 40 GB as the storage and click on continue. As you can see here, Kali Linux has finally created but to run that there is no ISO image file in it. So we will set up now. Click on settings, at the top click on storage, near controller id click on empty. At the right side click on disk image and select the disk file. 
Now we have to choose the image file which we have already downloaded. After choosing the file, we have to click OK to confirm. Now the settings has been done. Now click on start. So we have here we have to manually set up the Kali Linux. Here click on start. As you can see here, installer menu has started. And the message has popped up from the top. So click on capture and select graphical install using keyboard. Now the installation process has started. So in the language click on English and continue. And in the region I am selecting it as India. Now the keyboard type is American English and click on continue. Now in the host name I am keeping it as default as Kali and click on continue. There is no need to name the domain name so click the enter button. Here it is asking new username so I am giving it as homey thing. You can give username as your wish as I am giving my channel name. Now it is asking to set the password. So please make a note anywhere to easily identify him because every time you have to log in using this username and password which you have set now. Now it's asking partition disks. Here please select use entire disk. So it will use the entire 40 GB which I have already allocated. Here it's showing how much GB I have allocated. As you can see here I have allocated 43 GB. Now click on continue. Now in the partition scheme leave it as default and press the enter. To finish the partitioning click on enter. It's asking write the changes to disks. Select S and click on enter to continue. In the proxy information you can leave it as blank and click on continue. Now it's asking software selection. Here I only select first two because the other three collection of tools, top 10 most popular tools, default recommended tools will take much longer time. So in order to make this video I have only selected first two options but it's not compulsory to install other tools. Now click on continue. 
Now I am showing you the worst case if anything happens in the middle of the installation. So it will appear like installation has failed. So click on continue and choose again select and install software and press enter. Again, now you have to select the same options you have selected before as I have selected only top two options. So it's asking to install grub boot loader on a hard disk, say yes and continue. And now select the virtual hard disk which you have already selected and continue. Finally the installation has completed, now press enter. As you can see here Kali Linux has started booting. Now enter the username and password which you have kept earlier. Now I'll shut down and show you how much GB it has taken in my external hard drive. So we have opted 40 GB right, so it took only 10 GB for the installation. So these are the files which it had downloaded. Now I'll show you by ejecting the hard disk, Linux will run or not. I'll open the virtual box again. See, it's saying inaccessible. So please make a note that Linux will only run when the external hard disk is connected. Now again I will show you by connecting my external hard drive. And now it's showing so we can boot it again. Finally we have successfully installed on hard disk.